hi guys welcome back to another video so today i'm gonna tell you guys all about my experience at liberty university so hopefully at the end of this video you're able to decide if you want to go to liberty university and i am going to give you my honest opinion about the school and their nurse practitioner um, program this is specifically the psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner program if you are new here welcome my name is ami i am a family nurse practitioner on this channel, I make videos about nursing, I talk about mental health, I make videos about hair tutorials, I talk about financial tips. If these are topics that you're interested in, please consider subscribing and join the family. And I thank all my new subscribers, all the people that have been watching my videos so far. I appreciate all of you guys and all of your support. So today, um, I am literally at the end of my uh, program with Liberty University. So like I mentioned before, I am already a family nurse practitioner. Back in January of this year, I started a program at Liberty University to acquire a post-master's degree certification for um, um, psychiatric mental health degree, okay? So I'm gonna talk to you guys all about the program, the pros and cons of it. So that way, hopefully you're able to decide if this program is a good fit for you or not. And most often when people are creating videos about you know their opinions or videos about different things, it's either they're really happy about their experience or it's a terrible experience. I'm gonna give you both sides of the spectrum, okay? So again, um, one of the things I'm going to cover on this video is uh, the length of the program, classes-wise, professors. I'm going to cover about tuition and my final thoughts, okay? So first of all, one of the pros for me when it comes to this program was the fact that it's uh, only a year long. So most of the nurse practitioner programs that I was looking at for a post-master's degree were about four semesters long or two years long. And they were making me, they were requiring that I take classes that I've already taken when I was going to school for my family nurse practitioner degree. So those are like the, the three P's, pathophysiology, pharmacology, and advanced health assessment. So those are classes that I already took. So I wasn't interested in, in taking those classes again. One, I don't have the money or the time to take those classes again. Um, so for uh, Liberty University, their program just focuses on just mental health uh, classes, So which was really nice for me. And the fact that the program was a year long, I was really... Um, happy about that and I don't have to spend an extended period of time in school because they really focus on the on the just the classes that you need. Now the con to that is because the program only is for a year long it's accelerated so the first half of the semester so the entire program is three semesters long first half of the semester just first semester just focuses on the classes so you're going to take three classes one class is focuses on the uh, um, pathophysiology aspects of mental illness. The other class focuses on the medication aspect for mental illness. And then the third class is psychotherapy. So it's really nice. It's, it's very condensed. So those three classes, the first two classes is eight weeks long. So it's very intense, guys. So um, and then the second um, half of the semester, the eight weeks will be the psychotherapy class. Um, so it was really intense. So that's one of the negative aspects of it or the con, if you can say, aspect of it because the program is so short. Um, everything is condensed and intense, okay? And then when it comes to the second semester, again, because the program is so short, you have a total of 504 hours that you have to complete. And because it's only, you have two semesters to complete those clinical hours, uh, the first uh, the first clinical hours, you have to complete 240 clinical hours, and the second semester, you have to complete 280. So it's very, very condensed, whereas other programs are able to divide their clinical hours into three semesters or more. So that's one thing that you really want to pay attention to. Yeah, you get a chance to get done with your clinical hours and be done because it's only two semesters. But again, then that leaves room for very wiggle, little wiggle room when it comes to like doing other things, because then now you have to get a lot of clinical hours done at the same time. Um, it, it worked out for my schedule. I dropped, I was working five days a week. I dropped down to three days a week. And within that time frame, I was still able to get my clinical hours done within the semester. So that's one thing about it. So that covers the, the classes aspect of things. When it comes to tuition wise, out of all the, I looked at Regis College, I looked at uh, Maryville University, 
uh, Wilden University, Liberty University. Um, it was one of the cheapest program when it comes to the per credit, how much it costs per credit. So that's a pro for me because I really didn't want to pay a lot of money. You know, if I can get um, the same education for a cheaper price, that's honestly, that's my goal. So it's, it's, uh, Price wise, it's a lot cheaper. It goes anywhere from if you're full time, it's like five hundred, five hundred and fifty dollars per semester. If you are part time, it's about six hundred dollars. Now things may change from semester to semester, year to year, maybe, and most likely, often they people end up increasing their tuition rates. So check with that with the school to see where they are right now. When it comes to tuition, again, that's a pro for me because it's a little bit cheaper. One of the things or pros that I like about the school because it's a Christian based school. With that being said, some of the professors were really nice, honestly. Some of the professors would pray with you before the class start, pray with you when you have exam, pray at the end of the, uh, the class meeting, and we used to meet maybe once or twice a month virtually. So the class, the whole program itself, it's 100% online, which is a pro as well. So when it comes to the teachers, they have some really great teachers, and they have some teachers that are not so great, where they will fail you in a heartbeat on things that you really like they could have given you a second chance about let's say for example if you upload an assignment and they were not able to open that assignment they could give you a zero on that assignment just because you're not able to open it which is really weird because it's a hundred percent online and sometimes with computer and technology things may not work so that did not happen to me specifically but it happened to a few of the students that i knew um where the teacher was not able to open the, an assignment and they ended up failing them for that or failing them for that particular um, 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 test or particular um, assignment. Um, when it comes to the, the program itself, you need 860 points out of 1,010 points to pass the program. So that's a B or above. So when you're talking about teachers failing you for minor things where they could have just asked you to, you know, um, upload your assignment again, that's really petty. And you have people that are spending time and money and, and effort into, you know, trying to move ahead in life. So for me, that was a con. Um, but overall, they did have some really great teachers and they had some teachers that really were not so great. They just were not very understanding. So that's one thing. And you also, with, with the teachers aspect of it, you aspect of it, you have some teachers where when you email them, they get back to you right away. Some of them, they don't get back to you right away. So that's just, again, with some of these things, you can find them in any program. So it's just a matter of, you know, seeing what works for you and what's tolerable for you. Overall, honestly, the program itself, I'm, I'm grateful to God that for me, things went well. One of the cons to this program is you have to take a comprehensive exam at the end of the semester before you can graduate. So for me, you're going through school and it's very intense. You really don't have enough time to really absorb some of the information or even go back and study because it's so intense. So to have to take a comprehensive exam at the end of it, it really sucked, honestly, and it caused a lot of anxiety. You do have three trials to pass the exam. So if you don't pass it the first time, you get to take it again two weeks later so that's the one thing that I really didn't like about it. Do I feel as though it helped me prepare for boards? No, I did pass when I took it the first time, but I don't feel as though it helped me to prepare for boards because now once I'm done with the program, I have to go back and really sit down and study. So overall, those are some of the pros and cons. Semester-wise, it doesn't take long. The program is short. The con to that is it's intense. Uh, Tuition-wise, it's cheaper. Teachers-wise, there's some teachers that are really nice, some teachers that are not so nice, and you can find that in any program. And one other thing is the comprehensive exam. Most programs don't have a comprehensive exam. This program have a comprehensive exam that you have to pass for you to move forward. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope some of these things are helpful to help you decide if Liberty University is the school for you or not. If you have any other questions, please feel free to comment down below. Until next time, guys, stay positive, be kind to one another, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys.